everybody. How are you doing? Getting my stuff all figured out here. Trying to find myself on my tablet. Sure, it'll give you a couple minutes to get signed in here. There I am. Nope, there we go. Okie dokie. So I'm going to wait a couple minutes. Um, see who shows up. See if anyone comes in. Get myself situated in my chair. So today we are going to um, be coloring this cute little girl. It looks like I might be zoomed in a little too much maybe unless my thing is just being a little bit weird my tablet we all know my tablets weird hey Esmeralda Amador Nadia yeah I think my tablets being crazy or my phone is being crazy what is with this thing I tell you what Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. You guys will have to tell me if you guys can actually, can you guys actually see this? Because right now it's only showing me like the very corner of my paper. So I can't see what you guys can see. Let me see. Yeah, it's just being completely weird. You can see it. Okay, I don't understand why this thing is being so crazy weird with Facebook lately. It is driving me insane. Okay, so if you guys can't see her, if I go off screen, y'all are going to have to keep me in check, okay? Can you guys, is she close enough for you guys? See, this is one of the reasons I like having my tablet so that I can... Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can pull it up on my computer. Maybe that'll work. Because this thing is just, my tablet's going crazy. Okay, she is close enough. Let's see. Let, okay, let me turn the sound off. There we go. I pulled it up on my computer so I can see. Especially with the delay and stuff. Okay, so this is, I hope you guys have her. She's super cute. Um, so I started to color her. I didn't finish her up. But don't worry, we're going to go ahead and finish. But this is from the Paper Shelter. And her this stamp she doesn't have a name it's just called so ready for spring and she's super cute I just love her but she has a lot of like little folds in her clothes and things so I thought it would be really good for us to go ahead and um, do her for clothes like she has some folds here but it also looks like her pants are a little bit tight like she's, you know, like it's those leggings kind of jeans that are like jean material, but it's also like the tight legging material kind of thing going on. So, um, I guess there's quite a few of you here. Hey, Susan, how are you? We're just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using my normal colors, which are E11. E00, E21, E04, R20, and R30 for her skin. And she has a little bit more skin. She's got lots of shadows. That's one thing I love about these stamps is there's lots of shadows. Hey, Roxanne, how are you? So I'm going to start out with my E11 and just do where the shading is at 
Now my son, because she's facing this way, so my son I'm gonna have going this way. That way we have more light instead of dark. And I'm gonna be doing her hair a little bit um, darker, so I'm not gonna worry about going into her hair, really. And I'm just gonna bring it around. I'm just doing the inside of her ear. I'm not doing the top of her ear, but it's more of a, like a little dot kind of thing because her ear is tiny. So when I printed this out as well, um, Veronica leaves a little bit of a border, like a square border around her stamps. Um, and they're usually, when you pop them into Word or whatever you're using to print your stamps, it's usually sized at six inches. So I actually size mine at four and a half um, to make up for that space. So I can ha still have her at about four inches. So I'm gonna put a little bit on her nose and I'll put just a thin little amount underneath her lip. Now her jacket and underneath her chin, she's gonna have shading. So I'm actually gonna come out a little bit more. And this right here is her um, collarbone. So I'm just putting some shading there. And she'll have a little bit of shading right on the top. And this thing's really juicy, so I'm just taking my other lid off. That way I don't have to worry about super dark lines and stuff. So you can tell her jacket is coming up over the side right here, so there's shading there. We're gonna have some shading right here at her jacket and on her elbow. And then we'll have shade on this side of her arm because if your rays are coming this way this part of her arm is going to shade this side of her arm and then this one she will have a bit of a shadow from her sleeve and then she's going to have shade on that side of her arm as well as the underside of her hand. And then you can tell her fingers are curled up. So it'll be just that side of her fingers. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more for you guys so you can see her fingers. Here we go. So I'm not going to put, I can't tell, I mean it looks like her hip is a little bit more forward and her hand is actually a little more on her booty. So I'm guessing there's going to be a little bit more sun right on this section, but she'll still have a bit of a shadow from her pants right here and her little bee-boo. And then her jacket comes down, so right about here, she's gonna have some shading. And then shading from her little shirt, and little it is. Meadow actually commented on that, I thought it was funny. She said her shirt was way too small. And then around the back side of her belly. So she's got strappy shoes on, so we'll go ahead and put a shadow underneath her pants and on this side of her shoe and under her strap of her shoe. And then we'll go ahead and on the strap of her shoe and then we'll get in between her little toes And you can get under her toes too, which will probably get most of her toe colored. On this side, you can actually see the side of her shoe. 
but there's going to be more of a shadow because of the way the light's going to hit. This side will get no light and we will have a shadow underneath the straps or around the straps actually. And that's shading for her skin. So now we're gonna go in with our EO4. Hey Debbie, hey Paula, how are you? So we're gonna have some cast shadows with her hair. And she will have some with her ear. And again, that's just super small little lines. And then I'm just gonna come along with her hairline and then just under her chin and then along her jacket on both sides. And then I'm also gonna put a little right here where her neck is at and make that a little bit darker in there. Just like that little tiny triangle area. Then she's gonna have a tiny, thin, thin cast shadow at the top and a really small cast shadow at the bottom along with a cast shadow from her shirt. She will also have one here in her pants. She will have one at the bottom of her jacket top and on both sides. And then let's see. She would have one at the top of her pant line. Remember, make this really thin, because these images are small, unless you make her bigger when you're printing her out. Cast shadow there, her pants, her strappy shoe. trying to make this as thin as I can. So while it looks like I'm taking a thousand strokes, I'm really not. I'm just trying to make the line really thin by not touching the paper very much. There we go. Oh, we need one right here as well for her sticking her hand on her booty. So now I'm gonna go back with, whoops, with my E21, or excuse me, my E11. I was looking at the 21, that's why I said that. So I'm gonna go directly over that E04 and blend it. And I'm gonna bring that out just a little bit. Here we go. There, so get all of these, go over all the EO4 lines that you made. Bring those out, blend them. There we go. Thank you, Paul. I love this image. I think she's just so cute and so carefree, even if Meadow doesn't like her shirt. So now we are gonna use E21. And we're just gonna pull this down a little bit more around her eyes. 
bring in her cheeks a little more. Get that shadow underneath her bottom lip. Bring out her cheek more. And remember, this side is gonna get next to no light. Just leave that part open because it's getting next to no light. The only shadows that's there is for um, her shirt and her pants. And then again with this side of her foot, don't color that side of her foot yet. Just leave that for the E double zero. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish out this toe and this side of her toe, not her toenail, but her toe. Ooh, I almost forgot her hand. Here we go. Now, I went up the side just a little bit because of the way her sleeve is right here because that would still create shadow because it's not in the front part. So for her cheeks, yes, definitely. Yeah, this is not Meadow style at all. My Sweet Meadow is definitely more modest girl, which I love. So I'm just taking the shot, I'm taking the red or the R20 and going up the side a little bit to kind of combine that. And then just barely on that side, since you can't see her face that much, the coloring is gonna be a lot less on that side and more on this side. So pulling out that red with my R30. Okay, so now we're gonna finish things off with E00. If you notice in this one, I don't go over the eyes like I do with the La La Land Crafts ones because her eyes are actually going to be colored as to where La La Land Crafts, we just go ahead and color those in with white. Now I'm not worrying about her pants getting the ink in there because I'm going to be making those darker. So it's not a huge deal if it doesn't work out. Here we go. So right here, I have a bit of EO4 that didn't blend out. So I'm gonna use my E11 and just blend that out a little bit because I don't like how thick that is. And after the E, the, my E00 is really juicy, so I'm just gonna let this dry for just a second um, and do work on her pants. This is my zero, because I wanna take this out that I got on her shirt. There we go. there. Now her jeans, we're going to be using, where did it go? We're going to be using the E21, but we're also going to use B91, B93, B95, 97, and 99, and also a white gel pen. And the white gel pen I'm using is going to be a size 5. Okay, so uh, figure out, you don't have to put yours the same place that I do, but I'm gonna go ahead and put 
a little rip in her pants here. And then I'll put a rip in her pants right over her knee. That's where usually where Meadow has her rips in her pants. Okay, and that was with E21. Now, something I don't usually do, but I am actually going to cover with, okay, so the reason I'm doing it this way, this is B91. This is the lightest color, okay? And you guys know I normally do not start out with a light color, but when it comes to jeans, the light color will actually change and texturize the darker colors. So I like to go when it does, when a color will do that, and there's certain colors that will, um, those are the colors, like if I'm looking for that texture, that jean texture, then I wanna go with my lightest one first and then go to my, my dark color just so that I can lighten it up and get that kind of a, I guess for me it's like a bleated background, like a bleeding texture. So you can also um, do her jeans first and then um, use your, your clear um, blending fluid and you can use um, a pair of jeans and put some jean texture on it as well. But for her jeans, since it's supposed to be like leggings, um, I'm just going to color them in instead of using the texture. And I'm just going to use the texture from it being blended out. So that was B91. Now my second, my darkest is going to be the B99, but I want that for my dark contrast. So I'm going to go with my B97. Let's see. Hey, Antoinette. Hi, Angela. See, Antoinette, we don't have a choice with our granddaughter. Some of them have a style all their own. Oh, yeah. Definitely, you can't, they just do kind of do what they want to do. I've been blessed with one that's modest. Um, thank you, sweetheart. So the B97 is going to be our shadow. So we're going to put a bit of shadow here on the tip, just right on the edge where there's like a little lip right there, okay? And then to make that lip, because you can tell it's kind of bowing over, we're gonna go ahead and just bring that around that dotted line that's right there. And then I'm gonna come down this side of her pants and I'm just gonna make it very small. I don't want huge lines or anything at first. Plus I wanna try and figure out where I want all of the little creases and things and right here I came out a little bit further because you can tell she's got something going on right here with like a little crease and then down here where there's more I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way across almost and there's just a little bit left now she's gonna have dark parts right there. You can tell by the little lines that Veronica put in. And then dark here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this out a little bit more. That was probably too much. This thing is really juicy. Holy mac and cheese. So a little there. And then I'm going to go here. Sorry for twisting her all about. But I'm going really dark right there and then I'm making it smaller as I go down. And now she has a little bulb right here where you can tell it's supposed to be creased, but I'm going to go underneath where I put that E21 
and I'm gonna make a little circle, half circle, and come out right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go down the rest of the way. And again, there's like a little curve here, right where that dotted line is at. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that out. See, there's gonna be a shadow right there because of her hand. And then I'm just putting two little dots on the little string. And then I'm gonna put a thin line underneath this belt thing. Not even exactly sure what that is. And then I'll come down as far as her hand goes. So I'm not putting a whole lot of dark on this side of her pants because you can tell that it's kind of coming forward a little bit. But I am going to bring this down because you can see the little notchy right here. So you can tell that there is a wrinkle right there. Okay. And then right where this one is, I'm going to go ahead from her knee and come down this way a little bit. Okay, so that's it for her jeans. Now for her jacket, you know what? I might as well do her jacket at the same time. I totally forgot I was gonna give her a jean jacket as well with colored, with a colored little, what are these called, lapel? Little collars, and little cuffs on her jacket. So I'm gonna color that in with B91, even on the back here. Get this part of her jacket. I'm not going to do this part because this part right here looks like it's totally just the little cuff of her jacket. I know I'm going totally 80s here with this jacket, but I can't help it. I love it. Okay, so for the jacket, we're going to have lots and lots of lines. So with your B97, she's going to have shading from the little lapel. Okay, but that's only going to come down so far. Then she's gonna have more shading on this little piece of her jacket on the bottom. And actually, it'll come out a little bit more on the top here. Then you can tell it kind of gets bulbous right here, so I'm gonna color that in. I'm gonna come underneath that little bulbous part. Pull that line out. I'm gonna go around the side, pull that line out just like that and then go along the back side here okay now this back here because it's the inside of her jacket we're just gonna do ourselves a favor and finish it off because that's the inside where the lights not gonna hit at all then we're gonna do the line above her cuff, and then we're gonna do a little bit right here because you know that the sun's not gonna hit because her arm is right there, so you know that it's not gonna go past this part here. So there's gonna be a little bit of a shadow right there, but not quite as pronounced here. It's just gonna be right in the corner because as the sun goes in, it's gonna kinda go on top and to the edges of the lapel, but not underneath. Then we've got the little circle things to deal with, the little wrinkles in her clothes. So I want those to be more pronounced and that's the only reason I'm going around the outside of them. 
and then a little bit on the top but not much I forgot about her bag her bag will also have a shadow on her jacket So now we're going to use B95 and we are just going to pull all this out just slightly. Basically just run the B95 over just like halfway of the lines. Just to blend them out a little bit and bring them out a little more. This is where it's going to start to hopefully start to take shape. And then we're going to bring that out more. We're going to bring all this out on her pants, go along that line still. Bring this side out a little bit further than we normally would just because this is the back side that isn't going to get any light. And then come along this line. And pull it out. Same goes for this side. You want to just pull all this out. and go along those lines. Okay. And then this time with the B95, we wanna go ahead and go not on the line, but just next to the line of her pant leg on this side. So we're gonna pull this line out here Pull that out, pull this down, and again, this one we're not going to go right on the line, but right next to it, and then pull it out right here, and again, just right next to the line. And the reason I do that is because you're still going to have some light hitting it, but you're still going to have some dark because it'll make it look more rounded like the leg shape or like a cylinder than, you know, just having it look flat. It'll give it more shape. So that was the B95. Now we're gonna go to the B93 and we're gonna do the same thing. So I hope you guys don't get too bored. Are you guys falling asleep? You're being quiet. Sorry for that noise, I was taking a drink. So I'm gonna finish this side off with the B93, except for the very edge. And then this side, I'm doing a little bit, but it's just kind of, I want to try and leave as much of the B91 as possible. And then I'm going to pull this out. Almost to the V in her pants. And then same with this one, I'm just going to leave a little bit of white there, or B91 there. Come from this side. I'm not going along the edge, but I am coming in from the center, and I'm still leaving that B91 in the middle. So again, pulling this out a little bit. 
pulling this out a little. And still trying to leave a bit of B91. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the bottom here. So instead of flicking, it's more of a dabbing, okay? Now I'm gonna go back to B91. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish it out, but I'm actually going to push the B91 into the other colors. And if there's any spots where I feel like it needs to be, the lines or whatever need to be smoothed out, then I will go over those as well. So this, I don't have to really, it's just kind of just going back and forth because it's right in the center. Go over the what the parts that I left. And if you go out of the line and you fussy cut like me, don't worry about it. If you're not gonna fussy cut, then it'll go back in with your um, blender pen. I have a really hard time. Did you guys hear me stumble over that? I have a hard time calling it a blender pen since it doesn't blend, it just pushes. There we go. Finishing out her pants. There we go. Now, if you feel that you need to, you can always go back over again with the 97 or whatever. I'm going to use the B99 now just to get like these parts right here. Okay. Where it should be a little bit darker because of the shadows. If you notice, I'm going below right where that dotted line was and I'm going down, I'm not going on the top. And then I'm gonna do right where all the little creases and things are supposed to be. Ooh, this is getting juicy. Take that off. Then I'm gonna go this way. Okay, just getting all those little creases that are supposed to be there. Put an extra little bit of shadow here on our pants. Making our belt come forward a little bit. And then we'll do it in her shirt as, or her jacket as well. Do it on her lapel, make that come forward. And actually, we can do it right on the outside where her sleeve is at to make that little fold come forward. And then again, under the lapel, and right in that area right there. These ones I'm actually not gonna smooth out with any other blues. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use my 05 white gel pen. And I'm gonna go across the E21 areas. And then I'm also gonna go down Then I'm gonna go ahead and do some little tiny flicks. Make it look like it's really frayed a little bit and just really rugged. Um, now that I look at it, I think it would be 
a little bit fun. I'm gonna use some W3. And I'm gonna go across her pants to make them look stone washed. Can you tell the difference in between the legs? How they look, one side looks stone washed and one side just looks like jeans? There we go. How fun is that? There we go. So, and that was with the W3. You can do it with, if you want it a little lighter, you can always do like W2 or something, but just use a W because that's what's going to give it the stone washed look. So now we're gonna have to, now we have to do her hair. Let's see. This hair I used E21, E23, E25, and E29. So let's see, where's my E21? Here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my E25. And this hair is a lot of fun to do. Well, Susan might disagree with me, but this hair has a lot of um, shadows to do, and it's kind of like waving in the wind, so it'll give you a little bit um, more. So this is gonna need, her hair is so like, cause the image is smaller, so you're gonna need some thin flicks <laughs> See, I knew I was going to be right about that, Susan. So you're going to need some really thin flicks. So if you're not ready with your thin flicks yet, you're going to want to practice. So I'm just coming in from the top of her hat to do her bangs, the shadowing in her bangs and her hair. And then I'll come up from the bottom and this is coming this is actually one big piece that's like kind of in front of this one so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more right there and then just come up from the bottom get this little bit hey Carrie how are you sweetheart There we go. Carrie, I have to tell you something. All the food that you're posting is killing me. You make me so hungry all the time. Your apple salad, oh my gosh. I almost made my husband go to the store. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the shadows that are right here in her hair next to her face. And I'm actually going to bring that out a little bit and I'm just following the lines that Veronica has put in there for us. So, but I'm getting kind of next to her jacket. And then the hair next to her arm where it's going to also be shaded. Oh, we know Susan loves hair. It's her favoriteest thing in the whole world. <laughs> so, but this will be good practice. So, getting just all the tips of the hair. Bringing it back up the other way. And 
And then this one, we're gonna kind of come around. There we go. Let's see, I forgot this bit right here. And then if you feel you can get in at the bottom half of her bangs, go ahead. But I'm just going really light on the bangs because it's going to be mostly shaded because of her hat. So that was E25. Now we're going to do the E23. So I'm actually going to just put little tiny flicks just randomly all the way down in her bangs. And if I leave some white, I'm gonna do E21 in there. And then I'm gonna bring all this out, bring this up. There we go. Go ahead and bring all this out. I'm kind of going on top of the lines and to bring it out and I'm going in between as well. And just doing really small thin flicks. Remember, if you're having problems, I talked, I can't remember, was it Paula? Was it you that I said about hold it like a, a paintbrush, not like a crayon? If you guys are having hard time with thin strokes, it might be the way you're hold. I mean, if you're hanging on to it really tight to keep that control, you're gonna be pushing down harder. But if you just kinda hold it like a paintbrush instead of like a crayon and just move your fingers, you're gonna get those thin lines for the hair. You know what I just realized? I totally forgot to finish doing her ear. Oh well, I have to go back and do some of her skin anyways, so just for touch up, so I'll get her ear at that time. Just filling in the little white specks that I forgot didn't get in her ear, in her, her ears. Now I've got the ear on the brain in her bangs, there we go. So go ahead and pull all this out, just filling in the white with the E21. And just using thin little flicks to do it. There we go. So now for the E29. E29 is gonna be like our E04. It's gonna be for cast shadows. So I'm gonna get in here underneath her hat. And I'm just gonna use really thin, thin flicks. Except this is really juicy, so thin flicks are not gonna be easy. So take that other cap off. And then we'll get some thin flicks in here. We're gonna put some flicks here just to bring this hair forward. And then we need a little bit there to bring our bangs forward. And then put some right there for that and then right there for that piece. And then we will go ahead and put some right up in here to bring her face forward and to get those shadows. And then I'm gonna put a thin line just along her jacket sleeve because we know there would be shadow there as well. There we go. See, it doesn't take too much, unless you want, let's see, we can go right here too. Bring that piece forward a little bit. 
Now this I'm gonna go ahead and thin out with my E23. Just blend it a little bit, bring it out a bit. And I'm kind of going in other spots too. Just to make other spots stand out nice. See now doing it right here next to her arm and her arm only, we have a little bit of highlight here, which is really pretty. And doing it on the end there, we have a little bit more highlight in here. And then just pulling it out slightly on her bangs. getting that because that's going to be the back side of her hair and then we've got a little bit on the side here so her eyes I'm gonna go ahead and do you know what I usually do blue but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with green this time so I'm going to use YG00, YG01, and YG03 for her eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and use YG03 first. And I'm going to just put it right at the top. Don't worry about the white dot. We can color that back in with an ink pen, with a white gel pen. And then I'm going to use YG01. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. And I'm just using little dots. I'm not, I'm not flicking at all for that. And then YG00, I'm going to finish it out. And you have to be really, really light when doing her eyes because they're so small. So remember, like a paintbrush, not like a crayon. So here we go, just the tops again. Now I'm gonna use C1 because if you look at eyes, C1 will make, there's always a shadow from your eyelid. So we're gonna go all the way across to the corner of her eye to make her that part of her face kind of stand out some more. Then I can use my 08 white gel pen to bring those white sparkly dots back in. And if you're putting the second dots in like I do for the for the to make her eyes glisten, make sure they're always at the same place. Okay, so we have most of her done. Let's see, I'm gonna use R32. Now, we're more than likely definitely going to um, go over in class. So does anybody wanna finish this another day or do you guys wanna keep going? Let me know so I know whether or not I should keep going or not. I'm actually gonna be using, not only for her lips will I use R32, but I'm also going to be using R20, uh, let me see. I want it to kind of look like, I want her little shirt. Yeah, that'll be perfect. I want her shirt to kind of look like pink lemonade. So I'm gonna go ahead and just every other one, I'm gonna do R32.
There we go. And I'm just doing it on the sides because that's going to be the shadows, of course. And then let's see, I'm not sure if I want to do a brown bag or if I should do a pink lemonade bag for her too. So this I'm just going to go ahead and finish out. Ooh, or wait, you know what, that one would have a little more shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and go just a little bit. And then let me dig in here for my R20. And I'll finish that out. Well, I guess it's not that much of a difference. I probably should have used R30, but oh well. What's done is done. I can just go back in with the R32 and get that darker so it looks a little bit more blended or a little bit darker, not so light. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the other part of the lemonade. I'm going to use Y11, Y00, and you know what, let me try Y13. Let me see how these all go together, see if it's what I want. So that's Y13, Y11, and Y00. Oh, no, wait, that was 11. The other one was double zero. Holy mac and cheese. So there's 11. Here is double zero. And that's 13. 13's a little bit close to 11, so I'm going to try 15. And that's a little bit dark. Hmm. I'm gonna use the 15. So I'm gonna go 15, but I'm gonna use very little of it. There we go. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use 13, just because I don't think the 15 will blend very well with the 11 by itself. I mean, it would if you really over blended and forced it, but I don't think it'll do very well because it's so different. And then here's the 11. Okay, so now I'm not getting comments on here, but I can find them on my, goodness gracious. Let's see, here we go. <laughs> yeah, you need to get her on videotape saying that, Susan. So here's 11. Thank goodness I opened up my computer so that I can actually get, my, get your guys' comments. Maybe I should just look on my computer from now on instead of my tablet. It doesn't seem to be able to keep up. So here's um, the double zero for Y. I think it's cute, I like it. I think I should have her shoes match too and give her like, here, let's do R32 for her toenails. There we go. So 32. Now this part is not going to take a lot of color. So you can just actually use just one color in between for all of this part. And then I think I'll do like her heel right there. We'll do pink. And then come around this way. And just hit the very front right there. 
and then just do like one little because I mean I don't think you're gonna fit more than one color in there holy cow those little things are small and then I'll use Y11 for the yellow bits and I'm just like seriously I'm just like dotting it in there I'm not flicking at all so and then I need R21 for her shoe and I'll just finish that part out bring this around go underneath her toe and then this one I think I'm going to try the R30 see if that'll make it a little bit lighter oh yeah there's a little bit oh yeah that's better that gives it more of a highlight so if you guys aren't coloring yet instead of using R20 up on her shirt just use R30 instead Okay, so you guys haven't told me if you want to stay over in class or not, so I'm not sure what y'all want to do. So, hey, Nadia, welcome back, Nadia. At least it says you're come, you came back. So, her jacket, let's see. I'm already pretty much going with the pink. And Meadow loves pink, so I think I will just go with that. So I'm going to go R32 here and along the top of her lapel there. Go here and do the whole inside right here. And then we'll get the inside here. Now she's going to have a little bit, you can tell right here there's like a little swoop. So you know that's going to be in a little bit. So we'll just extend that line out a little bit to really make it come out. Then she'll have shading there. You have to cook dinner. What are you making us, Antoinette? Does that sound, I, dinner sound, is about almost time for us too. Hour and a half. So this is R21. I don't know why I just, she just makes me, this little image makes me think of pink lemonade. I don't know if it's because spring and summer make me think of pink lemonade or what the deal is, but totally thinking of pink lemonade when it comes to her shirt and stuff. And then just finishing it all out with the R30. Oh my gosh, I'm totally in love with this. You know what, I think I'm gonna do her belt the same too. Just all about the lemonade. Except I'm just, this is so thin, I'm just gonna do the R32. And then I'm just putting a little bit there of the R32. I'm not gonna use the R21, I'm just gonna go directly to the R30. There we go. So we just have her hat, the flowers, her glasses, and her bag left. Hope it's in your grown daughter is on a keto diet. <laughs> and here I keep talking about pink lemonade and, and um, Carrie's stuff. Oh, you're making, oh, that sounds good. Yummy, Antoinette. <coughs> Quiet, Lulu. Sorry, my dogs are gonna bark because Amazon just dropped something off. 
she has my dog has learned that when my echo makes that alarm sound that it's um that somebody dropped something off at the door so now she barks every time someone drops something off like that i think it's so funny she is definitely smart so i think i'm just gonna do gosh i feel bad for doing a brown bag though because a brown bag really just doesn't go very well with this image what do you guys think what color bag should i do you know what i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna redo her skin a little bit i'm gonna do her little touch-ups and you guys um tell me what color you think i should make her bag in her hat so now my husband now my husband's home get her ear hang on i'm so sorry hey be quiet i am so sorry about that you guys oh my goodness So I'm just going to bring the shadow in on her face a little more. And bring the shadow in here on the other side of her neck. And get underneath her neck a little bit. And underneath her bangs. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. No, they're not fighting. I think it's because... Um, Jake and the kids went to the store, so I think they might be home because I heard the garage door. But no, they're not fighting. They're just barking because someone's home, I think. Yep, I just heard a door, so somebody's home. So sorry about that. But that's funny that Lex was barking with them. So get this side of her skin. Thanks, kiddo. Oh, is this my baby suit? Yes. Hi. That was Meadow, if you all are wondering. So get her hand. her elbow oh my gosh that is so oh <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh but that's funny it's kind of like whenever I bet you if I say Alexa all your guys you guys's stuff will go off if you have one that's close by because I know when I do that to Paula her Alexa will go off too So get this side of her hand again a little bit. <laughs> that is so funny. And I'm just going to pull this out just a little bit because the lines are a little bit darker than what I like. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth that out a little bit. There we go. Oh, thanks, Boyo. Look at what my son brought me. Isn't this awesome? A peach milkshake. I am truly loved. Seriously loved. So you were all for the, let's see, I think it was a khaki. Let's see. Who said khaki? Somebody said khaki. Where was it? Oh, saddlebag tan. You're getting a little specific on me, Paula. Oh my gosh. Saddlebag tan. What do you, I don't even know what color that is, you crazy lady. 
So I'm going to use these ones. I don't know if that's saddlebag or not. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what that is. Lady, you're crazy. So there's going to be um, a bit of an indention here. And I'm just going to go up just gradually towards the center. Come down this line here. Go along the back a little bit. There's going to be a shadow from the little flap, flip, flap. I'm not sure what that's called, the top of the bag. I'm going to go right here because there's going to be a little bit of a shadow there, but there's going to be more shadow on this side than anything. And I'm going to bring that around the bottom to give it a little bit of shape. Go ahead and go on this side. And then get right where that little buckle thing is at. And then get on either side of the buckle or the little strap of the material. I'm gonna extend these lines that are right here to bring that out and a little bit more prominent as to the bag having that right there. Little wrinkle. Bring that down. And then there is no strap right here. It's all covered by her arm. <laughs> Paula's not a cowgirl, that's funny. Okay, so E41, or 42, sorry, 42. And I'm just bringing it out. I'm gonna finish up that little strap that's right there. Bring this down. Extend those lines a little bit. I'm not going in between those lines. I'm leaving that open. That way it'll be a little bit more highlighted. This part we can finish out because that's going to have some serious shadow. I'm just leaving a little bit right here. And then again, just coming along this way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this part of her bag. Go over the top of that little buckle. The buckle I think I'm gonna go, I don't know what I'm gonna, maybe silver, I think. And then E41, we're just gonna finish all this out. There we go. Okay, so 44, I'm just going to put a little bit right here. I'm just using it as a cast shadow, so we'll have a bit there. Define these lines a little bit. A little bit of cast shadow from her arm, from her hand, from the bottom of that buckle. Go over that one more time. And then I'm just going to have a little bit from this buckle and underneath the flap of her bag and right over on this side. That way it makes the flap of her bag come out a little bit more. And I'm just going to thin that out a little bit with the E42. Here we go. There we are. Okay, so the flap for silver, I'm just gonna go ahead and use um, my C1 if I can find it in here and my C0.
And I'm going to use the C1 on this side. And this is my C0. And another color you can use if you want silver, honestly, is your T's. T's are really good. If you add, like, this is T2, so this might be too dark, but it'll give it some more shadow. But see how it just makes it a little bit more, just a little bit more. I don't know what to add to that. It just makes it a little more. So now we have her hat. I'm thinking I might do her hat in the same colors. That way her purse doesn't stand out as being like not matching anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those back out. So E43. So this right here is definitely going to be darker, like a lot darker, because it's behind her head, and it's on the in. This right here is the inside of her hat. And then she's got a bit of a lip here on her hat, so I'm gonna go right along the lip right here and then I'm trying to figure out it looks like her glasses are right here and it kind of goes up a little bit so I'm just going to put a thin line there, like a thin, thin line here. And you don't have to worry about getting it in her glasses because, I mean, they're sunglasses more than likely with her outfit. So they're not going to be, you know, they're not going to be see-through. And then just put a little bit. I mean, just barely any around these flowers. This one, there can be a little bit more coming out. And then it's coming out like she's got some like little wrinkles in her hat here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because it's not working anyway. And then I'm going to go with my E42 and pull this out just a little, not much. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little in here. The brim right here I'm going to save for the E41. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these lines out a little bit. And then go with E41. And get that brim of her hat. inside here and get the rest of it here. This pen definitely needs some ink. So I'm going to go ahead and use E44 just for the inside of her hat here and for along the edges of her the brim of the hat. That way it'll kind of bring that brim forward. 
and then we can put some at the top of the glasses and we can also put some right where those little creases are supposed to go and along her glasses make those come forward as well There we go. So let's see, bring that out with the E42. And you don't have to bring it out of the, with the E42 unless you really, really want to. It's not something, you, you know, anything I do is abs not like, oh, you have to do it this way. You can do it any way you want. So let's see, a little bit of E41, just to balance that out because the lines are still pretty dark. There we go. So the glasses, you can do several different ways. Wow, I've got a serious pile of pens going on here. The glasses, you can do a few ways. So there is, um, find it this is wink of Stella and this is the silver and you can simply brush that on okay you can also use your let's see I'm gonna do you can also take your ends or even your C's <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. There we go. That was N5. Here is N4. And here is N3 to do your glasses. You can tell they're pretty similar, but this is going to give you, the Wink Estella is going to make it more like the reflection glasses that we used to have. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just had them when I was a kid. I have no idea. But I'm going to use N5, N5 for the sides. Bring that around a little bit. And then I'm going to put, ooh, that's juicy. Bring that around a bit. Okay. And this I'm going to put along here. And then here is N4. I'm just going to go ahead and color the white parts in because I can go back with my pen. That way I don't have to be all stressed out about it. And then here is N3, and we're just going to finish that off. So with my 08, I'm going to go ahead and fill in that white part. But I'm also going to put like a little shine on the lenses as well. Okay. And that was with my 08. So the last thing we have left is the two flowers this they both kind of look like daisies to me but they might be different colors so i'm going to go ahead and do one with r32 and i'm just going to go around the very edge 
of that middle section and color outwards with R32 and R30. That's leaving a shadow. There we go. And then I'm gonna make it a little pink lemonade. Well, no. you know what I'm gonna do? Just because I really like daisies, but I'm gonna go ahead now this one is a 0.10, but it'll look a little bit raised once I get this filled in with the white gel pen. Oh, you know what else would be cute? Oh my gosh. Because you know how I love polka dots. I love it. Isn't that cute? And then this one, we'll go ahead and just do yellow. So I'll do, let's see, where's my 13? Here's my 13. Wrong side. So I can do 13 around the outside. And this actually has some little dots inside the center of it, kind of like it's one of those, what are those? Actually, you know what, I'm gonna use the 15. What are those daisies called that are yellow with the brown center? What are those called? I love those ones. And then let's see, I'm gonna use the 11. They're like orangish yellow, and then there's brown in the center, like this one. There we go. And I just did little tiny dots in the center with the E44, and then little tiny dots with the E42. And we are actually done. We actually made it through. What do you guys think? Is she cute or is she cute? You know what, I think she needs another dot right there. I know you guys are saying she doesn't need another dot. Leave the dots alone. But I love them. There we go, now it looks like it actually goes into her jacket. Black eye, oh, they're black eyed Susans. I love those ones. Those are my favorites out of all of them. So I hope you guys like this one. Next week, no, Thursday. I will see you guys on Thursday to color this cutie patootie. Where is she? We're gonna color this little cutie next week. So, or Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. So day after tomorrow, we're gonna color this little cutie from the club, La La Land Crafts. And um, we might even color these little dudes too, if we get around to it, because her outfit really doesn't take that long to do. So we might go ahead and just do these little dudes too. Okay, or at least one of them maybe. Okay, so I will see you guys on Thursday, and I hope you had a wonderful time with me because I had fun with you guys. So I will talk to you later. Bye.